Here we go. The time is 6.02 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Date 2-5-2014. And we have a short on win. And we have the $220 puts. When Wynn reported earnings here last week, they had super gapped it. And I'm just going to show you that this stock is down about $7. And this is in pre-market before the opening bell. Now, I am going to go over here. Just this is where I am talking about. And this is where we also bought the uh, put options. Because Wynn had already been in a reversal pattern. Then when their earnings came out last week, it was time to do what? It was time to get short, and we did. And so I'm going to blow up the spy glass. The stock has been getting bid up. Look at the Chinese over Macau. Uh, look at these casino stocks. This is the last correction down here on when. When came out with the earnings, and then they popped this sucker because you got to know that this was right down here, right around that 190 area. And then it popped up here. This big engulfing bar up is to where the original top was. That This is an earnings volatility. And we just want it on the record because Big Fat Al from the West Corral, he's got a lot of puts. You're printing 205. And remember, when you have the put options, you can trade around the equity. So you can go long off of the bottom and make money. And then you have your short working on top of it. And this is win in pre-market value. Here and now, right now. Here we go. And one of the things that we are learning about uh, Apple this morning was what we call a high-frequency bot system. I will tell everybody now that that teeny is 42 cents per line, 116. He got 4.97 teenies, which equaled two dollars and eight pennies. The interday range at 6:49 a.m. Pacific Standard Time is there is definitely a bot system. All right, I repeat, Tommy, you're on that same order up there, and it's, he's got a bot. And I'm getting this live right now. He's got a 70 IR. He's a 0 .09 ratio. 0 0.31 was a high. That was a high frequency bot. We have a 1 and a 2 and a 3 teeny script to the penny. And no one will ever deny me of the accuracy of a 3 teeny script. He had a 7, 9, 10. And there is that bot below the diamonds. And it's right there at that freaking teeny line. Right there, right now. That is a high frequency bot. You put that by the cover out there. I already got it at 508. There it is right now, and it's live, and it's here, and it's live, and that bot is in the trade. What we are going to show people is what a high frequency algorithm bot is, and how that algorithm is in Apple Computer. Okay, and we talked about other stocks that the market is extremely getting volatile with what? The actual bot system. And each one of these teeny lines are 42 cents per teeny. Now, having said that, we're going to have the shorts up here at 513, 82 pennies. And not only that, this thing is on 99, 100. And that bot is really ripping that. So we got a 5.39 range, and most of it is up and off of the bottom. What's the 5.1164? That 5.1164 bot comes into play right here. Three eighths is 5.1130 pennies, and we are out at a three quarter delta hook at 5.1382. Why are we doing that? Number one, we're 36 minutes into the opening bell. Number two, once this bot system this is a high-frequency supercomputer that is going to run that up there to our short. And we are only like $1.95, $1.82 away. So basically, we haven't seen this in the Apple computer system, but he's really chugging and lugging. And that is a perfect algorithm and every reason why you need to understand that. 
Here we are, MMTs. We have a complete bot system that is back into Apple. So the three-minute teeny moves is the following. We clearly have a $6 range, and we clearly have a $4.20 off of the bottom here to this current print. Each one of these lines are 1 16th. The value equals 42 cents. It is fairly strong when the market and the Dow was selling down. The volatility has increased in both directional moves. What I can say is the high was 512.25, which equals slightly above a 0 0.5 ratio, which equaled at that time was 8.25. Two sixteenies, you convert that into dollars, that's three dollars and forty six cents because that's what it is. And here's how accurate it is. So now that we came up and tested this half a delta and a few teenies above it, we are going to find out that <coughs> the high frequency algorithm is going to remain in Apple. So this is the kind of volatility that you want to see is almost five teenies at four dollars I mean 42 cents excuse me so listen the volatility is here there was announcements out <clears throat> about the Chinese stocks and what has happened here Apple has found a algorithm at certain price levels that are higher from its post earning release that they had and basically it's a ten dollar expansion from the previous lows and what we're going to do very clearly is go look at our other system that we have and we're going to come up with some kind of call contract that we can get the ranges on the calls and we can get the ranges of what a 505 or a 510 Yes, they have to be a monthly expiration because one thing about this market is Apple had already been hammered. And this is what the volatility is. These are actually one, two pennies times 42 cents. That's 84 pennies to the penny. To the penny. Yes, to the penny. All right, Al. There it is. 509.92. There it is right there, 509.92. Put that order down there. That's exactly what that hook is. The half bar right here, 509.92. If he breaks below it, then you buy back down here at those diamonds. 509.92.